Hey guys, welcome to Books and Specs. Today I'm back with another video on English root words. I hope you all are doing well. Without much ado, let's start with our words today. Okay? So our today's root is astro or aster. Some of you must be familiar with this root, I hope. So astro or aster means star or outer space. All right? Our today's first word is astronaut. Astronaut means one who is trained to travel in spacecraft. Astronaut can also be called cosmonaut or spaceman. All right. Here I have taken a photograph of an astronaut. Our example is it seems only yesterday when astronaut Neil Armstrong stepped foot on the moon. Okay. Our today's next word is astronomer. It means an expert in astronomy or one who studies about stars and outer space. That is why I have taken a photograph of Aryabhat uh, who was an ancient Indian astronomer. Our example is according to ancient history Aryabhata was the greatest Indian astronomer of all time. Okay. Our today's third word is astrology. We can break down the word into two roots, which is astro and logi. Here astro means star and logi means study. So we get the study of the positions of celestial bodies or stars, which is astrology. Okay. Uh, we can also um, say astronomy means horoscopy. Okay. Here our example is no science tells you that you cannot believe in astrology if you want a peace of mind you can turn to astrologers without hesitations okay for the fourth word i have chosen asteroid asteroid means something that is shaped like a star or a small rocky body which orbits the sun okay here you can see a picture of asteroid uh, coming towards the earth okay here our example is several million years ago an asteroid hit the earth wiping out the dinosaurs completely that was an extinction level event undoubtedly okay for the fifth word i have taken asterozoa it means the family of a starfish okay in the picture you can see a starfish hiding under the rock okay so the example is while diving underwater, the scuba divers get to see the colorful asterozoa. So if you want to uh, see this asterozoa and other colorful marine lives, you can try going for a scuba diving sometimes. Okay, let's move on to our next word. So for the sixth word, I have taken astrophil. Here, let's break down the word into two roots, which is astro and phil. Astro means star or outer space and phil means love. So we get an amateur astronomer or one who is very interested in star lores. Okay. So the example is since childhood, Rakesh was an astrophil and when he passed his school, he was hired by NASA for his extraordinary papers on astronautics. Okay. Next is astrosphere. It means the sphere of the star. Here our example is during solar eclipse we only get to see the edge of the astrosphere and it is a mind blowing scene to capture. Here you can see I have taken a picture where you can clearly see the glimpse of astrosphere during the solar eclipse. Okay. Our today's eighth word is astrography. It means the mapping and description of our solar system or the mapping and description of our galaxy it can be anything okay the example is if you are taking up a course of astrophysics for the next semester you better start clearing your concept on astrography from today onwards okay next is astrophysics in last few words i have mentioned about this word astrophysics so let's know what the astrophysics word means it means 
a neat combination of astronomy and physics it is uh, defined as a subject you can take up this subject during your bachelor's and master's if you want here our example is as he wanted to devote his life to space research he grabbed the first chance to study astrophysics all right so our today's last word is astronautics it means the study of building space worthy vehicles such as rockets space capsule capsules uh, space stations etc here our example is nasa is looking for engineers who are skilled in astronautics for its upcoming space mission if you have seen big bang theory that famous television show that famous uh, sitcom you must have seen that episode where um, howard wolowitz was uh, hired uh, for his astronautic skill to go on a space mission it was something like that you can check that out anyway so this is it for today i would request all of you to revise all the words from this video and of course from my previous ones and try to apply all these words in your daily conversation so that you don't forget the words i have mentioned in my previous videos if possible try to maintain a notebook uh, and revise them after every every regular interval uh, so this is it for today uh whoa. Uh, before I go, I would uh, like to request all of you to like, share and subscribe my channel. Alright, so bye for today.